Hi everybody and welcome to Ask My Tablet. I hope everybody's doing good tonight. If you have a device that has A-L-E-X-A -E on it, you may want to pause it right now and so you can put it on mute and uh, so it won't react every time I say the word. Um, if you have questions for Ask My Tablet, leave them in the comments uh, so that we'll have enough to do it the next time all right let's start out here let's get to let's get her going here come on sometimes she's a little slow okay these first several are from uh, P bunny McKenzie Alexa did the founder of Macy's... Here's something I found on reference.com. The name Apple was influenced uh, by a diet followed by Steve Jobs. Okay, let me see if I can do it right. Alexa, did the founder of Macy's department store die on the Titanic? Here's something I found on the web. According to fool.com, there is no set inventory. The assortment is typically left over Macy's merchandise discounted as much as 80%. Uh, Alexa, did the original owner of Macy's department store die on the Titanic? Here's something I found on the web. According to tripsavvy.com, Isidore Strauss helped turn Macy's into the world's largest department store and was one of the most prominent of those lost on the Titanic. I just had to ask it a different way. I don't know why. The first one was perfectly fine. So he was. Okay, Alexa, who owns Macy's department store now? This might answer your question. Macy's is owned by Macy's Incorporated since May 31, 2007, and Jeff Gannett is the CEO of Macy's. I wonder who owned it, owned it before then. Okay, here's some from Kim Loves Artie. Alexa, when was the Cookie Monster introduced? Cookie Monster first appeared in 1966. Unaired wheels, crowns and flutes commercials. There he is. Trying to get a good shot of him there. So I changed that a little bit, uh, Kim, too, and because if you say invented, I don't know if they would, you know, if it would know. So uh, I'm going to say the same thing with others, if that's okay. Uh, Alexa, when was Grover introduced? Grover first appeared in the Ed Sullivan Show in Sesame Street. Ed Sullivan Show. Well, that's quite a while ago. It looks like she could have said the year, but okay, and. Alexa, how tall is the Chrysler Building in New York City? The Chrysler Building is 1,046 feet tall. Wow, look at that. Kind of looks like the Empire State Building in a way, but more modern. I don't know how good you can see that. Okay, we got several here from Joe. Joe Pachelik from Joe's Garden and Bees. Alexa, how much gold is lost in the oceans? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. She's not sure about that. And uh, maybe she knows this one. Alexa, how many diamonds are there in the world? According to another Amazon customer, diamonds prepared as gemstones are sold on diamond exchanges called bourses. There are 28 registered diamond bourses in the world. Did that answer your question? Not really. Thanks for your feedback. Okay. She didn't say she'd do anything about it. She just wanted to know. <laughs> uh, Alexa, what is the rarest thing on Earth? According to another Amazon customer, meet the rarest natural element on Earth. It's so rare. There's just 30 grams total in Earth's crust. 
Named after the Greek word for unstable, estatos, astatine is a naturally occurring semi-metal that results from the decay of uranium and thorium. All right. <laughs> That's pretty rare if there's only 30 grams in the whole of Earth's crust. I don't guess uh, uranium and thorium decay very fast. <laughs> okay. Alexa, what is the most expensive thing on Earth? They say diamonds are forever, right? Well, a Chopard blue diamond only costs $16 million. So that's the most expensive thing on Earth? Wow. That doesn't show a picture of it. It just shows this guy here. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm dealing out the money for that diamond, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let me see. This is from, these are from Bon Swanson. Alexa, is it true that couples used to sleep in separate beds side by side? Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> she doesn't know. Okay, how about this one? Alexa, what is the hardest type of wood? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Lignum vitae is generally acknowledged to be the hardest type of wood, being more than twice as hard as Osage orange and more than three times harder than red oak. Well, what? It's Lignum vitae. L I G N U M V I T A E. You ever heard one? I don't think I got one in my backyard, do you? Okay, this one's from Diane Clark. <clears throat> Alexa, what is the Guggenheim Museum? The Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum, often referred to as the Guggenheim, is an art museum located at 1071 Fifth Avenue on the corner of East 89th Street in the Upper East Side neighborhood of Manhattan, New York City. It is the permanent home of a continuously expanding collection of Impressionist, Post-Impressionist, Early Modern, and Contemporary Art and also features special exhibitions throughout the year. The museum was established by the Solomon R. Guggenheim Foundation in 1939 as the Museum of Non-Objective Painting, under the guidance of its first director, Hilla von Ribe. I heard of him. I wonder if this building was made. I wonder if I could ask her that. Alexa, what year was the Guggenheim Museum built? Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum opened in 1937 making it 84 okay. years old. 37. So that was probably the craziest looking architecture ever back then. Okay. And Logan's got a few here. Alexa, what is the world's record for the biggest teddy bear? Here's something I found on the web. According to foxnews.com, with 7,790 different teddy bears, Miley holds the Guinness World Record for largest teddy bear collection. Largest collection. Okay. Alexa, what's the world's record for the largest teddy bear? Here's something I found from Guinness World Records. The largest teddy bear right. measures 19.41 meters, or 63 feet 8 inches, what? in length and was constructed by Municipio de Zanacatlan, Ideas por México and Agrupación de Productores de Peluche, all Mexico, in Estado de México, on April 28, 2019. The bear was displayed at the local stadium in the city of Zanacatlan, and was made with the same materials of a commercial available teddy bear, including details such as tiara, dress, eyes and nose. The event was organized in order to promote Children's Day in Mexico. The teddy bear has an approximate volume of 451.48 cubic meters, or 15,943 ft cubed, 1,495 in cubed. I think that means it's pretty big. Okay, I did get an answer out of her on that. Alexa, what's the world's most expensive dessert? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the most expensive dessert is the frozen oak chocolate ice cream sundae costing $25,000, which was added to the menu of the Serendipity 3 restaurant, New York, 
USA on November 7, 2007. The dessert uses a fine blend of 28 cocos, including 14 of the world's most expensive. Say what? <laughs> oh, Lord. That's expensive, I'd say, yeah. And these are from Vicky G. Alexa, what is the oldest university in America? The oldest university in America is Harvard. It was established in 1636 and chartered in 1650. Wow. Good Lord. That's old. That is even before, I uh, guess, I had to be, that is before America was even America, I guess. That's, that's wild. Okay. Uh, Alexa, what year did 60 Minutes debut on TV? Here's something I found from the article 60 Minutes on Wikipedia. It has aired at that time since for 42 years as of 2017, making 60 Minutes not only the longest running prime time program currently in production, but also the television program broadcasting wow. for the longest length of time at a single time period each week in U.S. television history. Wow. That is a long time, too. And Alexa, who won the first Peabody Award? Hello? Alexa, who won the first Peabody Award? Here's something I found from the article Alan Yang on Wikipedia. The series was awarded a Peabody Award, and at the 68th Emmy Awards in 2016, Yang and Ansari won for Outstanding Writing for a Comedy Series for Master of None, which was also nominated in the Outstanding Comedy Series category. I don't even remember that show. Master of None. So, does it really say? I mean, was it 2016? Yang, I guess so. Okay. Uh, Alexa, what was the Gregory Stewart court case decision? Here's something I found on the web. According to CNN.com, an appeals court upheld Stewart's conviction for lying about a stock sale. Well, there you go. There you go. And, Alexa, tell me a joke. I tried to write a good chemistry joke. But it was too formulaic. <laughs> formulaic. That word. Alexa, tell me a joke. What's worse than an insult from a leprechaun? A burn from a dragon. <laughs> okay. All right. Alexa, knock, knock. <coughs> okay. Here we go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Butter. Butter who? Butter, open the door. It's getting toasty out here. <laughs> toasty. <laughs> okay, Alexa. Knock, knock. Okay, here we go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Sorry. I'm having trouble accessing your Alexa joke skill right now. She stopped. <laughs> Alexa, knock, knock. Okay, here we go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Luke. Luke who? Luke. Up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> Luke up in the sky. All right, everybody. That's going to be it for Ask My Tablet tonight. So, if you would like to see another Ask My Tablet, ask some questions in the comments. So, <laughs> so everybody, have a great night. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that.
so you get all my videos as soon as they come out and share 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 with everyone you know okay everybody that'll be it for tonight i'll see you in the morning morning devotions god bless everyone good night